driver to go. Clockwork. You checked it out, right? I don't want any issues. Relax, all right? It's all there. They give you a taste? Oh, yeah. Primo shit. I don't know why we gotta come here to get the stuff. Where do you think you get the stuff, huh? You look. Pricks. Who'd you talk to when you went in there? Chico. Was it Chico? Yeah. I'm only dealing with Chico. I'm dealing with nobody else. Did you get a receipt? You think they give receipts? Is this a joke? I don't know. I'm not used to doing it. I walk in there with a bundle of cash. I walk out with a bundle of stash, OK? okay? okay. That's it. So there's so just, your mind. just a double just check. Shut up, man. So there's no receipt. No, there's no okay. receipt. Then good. We got lunch. Hey, hey. Finally. Yeah. Seriously. Oh, what the hell That's you been? <laughs> you son of a bitch! <laughs> Let's go split a bazon, partner! Now, who wants it? I do! All right! Paper bitch and Yankee Clipper on the case! <laughs> nice work, thanks, Alan. Paper bitch! Paper bitch! Thank you, Captain. I'll do it! I'll do it! Paper bitch! That song! If we were in the wild, I would attack you. Even if you weren't in my food chain, I would go out of my way to attack you. If I were a lion and you were a tuna, I would swim out in the middle of the ocean and freaking eat you! You know what I hear when you say those things to me? That I hate you? No. I hear a guy who's probably a little insecure. Really? Sitting there thinking to himself, gosh, I like this Allen guy a lot. But I'm a little nervous. I don't want to blow it. So I'm going to show him how tough and cool I am by saying a bunch of mean, dirty words. And maybe I'll impress him. Or maybe I'll just feel less nervous. Or I don't know. I don't know exactly what your process is. But let me just tell you this much. You don't have to try so hard. You got the gig. Two days ago, this city wept. We lost two heroes. Who the hell jumps 20 stories? Dumbasses. There must be 12 widows here. What the hell? I rented a charter bus to bring in all the kids. Mommy, which one was my daddy? <sighs> Only God knows no. <laughs> Danson used to take a shit on the precinct floor, and he would go, look what the cat did. And he'd ask, what cat? And he'd go, rear. Hi, Smith. It was my secret Santa one year. He just gave me a picture of his penis. He framed it. Wow. Look at it, man. Just drink it in. Soak it up. You can actually feel a heat coming off it, you know? Those are the candles. That's candle. No, I, I see the candles. I'm just saying, like, more like an aura. You can really feel that heat. It's a lot of candles. Hey, so, so. Yeah. I'm going to sit down. Oh, sit down. What are you doing? No, let us just do it. Sit down. Whoa. No, just take it for a test drive. Come on. <laughs> You're nuts. Oh, that's yeah, it. Nuts. That feels good. But I like it. That feels good. <laughs> Try this out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is good. This feels right. This feels beyond right. This feels really good. 
That's natural. That's like, like a, a love. Warm summer night. Ow! Take a picture. Yeah. Oh yeah. Good idea. All right. All right. Give me that intense look. Get intense. All right. Hold Give on. it to me. Give hold me on. the fire. Hold on. Hold on. Give me the fire, Fossey. Oh, damn, that scared me. That was like good. That? Like that? That was good. I want my gun out. I want my gun out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Pretend like the alarm just went off. All right. Blam! <laughs> Perfect. I got them. I got them all. <sighs> oh, man. What do you got there? Oh, my. Whoa. She male porn. Really? Yeah. That's she male porn. Good cops, though, right? Yeah. I, you know what? Those are just rumors, all right? They did not shit in bags. His name's written in this. I don't care. It's probably evidence, all right? Put it away. That's not our business. Okay. If we want these desks, we need nicknames, because that's what grabs headlines. I was just thinking, all right. I knew you yeah. were. All right. I like where you're Let's going. get serious about this, though. OK, off the top of my head, I'm just spitballing. I'm thinking Coke and Sprite. Yeah, no, no that's not going to work, because uh, Sprite's not white. It's clear, so. OK, you know, quit busting my balls here. I'm just thinking out loud. It's a brainstorming right. session. All right? Don't be the no man all the time. Be positive. Throw something at me. Barbecue and ranch. OK. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I like yeah. that. OK, nice. Uh, uh, stars in the sky. Star, uh, stars and you know, midnight. Or, oh, midnight hammer and uh, uh, morning thunder. I like that. What do you think about that? that that's, I'm digging that. Right? Uh, what about Turner Classic Movies? We come in black and white. Oh, stars! <laughs> So we going with that one? No. I'm being kidnapped. Really, we're in a police station and no one is interested in this. Hey, you guys need some Hey, help? guys! Shut you guys, up! You're gonna get in this car and help me uphold the law, or I swear to God, I will shoot you. Hey, okay. I can't drive stick. Are you serious? Yes. Where is your car? It's over Where? on the other side. Where? It's on the other side. Excuse me? Shut up! Gun down, Let's go. and we'll be fine. Yeah, I need this gun. Let's go. Hey! Get over here, bitch! Get the fuck out of here! I need the fuck out gun! Freeze! Take him down! Take him down! Hold him, officer! Hold him! He's, he's a gun! Hold him! He's a fucking gun! Freeze! I swear to God, don't. Get out of here! Pulled a gun on me. Calm down. It wasn't loaded. You know I didn't shoot Cheetah on purpose. You don't think I'm a real cop, do you? No. I don't, but I've told you directly to your face numerous times. Hey! Back up! Back up! Whoa! Hey, 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 hey! hey, hey. Get away shoot! From Are you out of your mind? Get away! Work on a huge case. Property owner with seven buildings under construction. He hasn't applied for a single scaffolding permit. So we're finishing up our interview about the Chinatown drug murder, right? We're leaving Fox News. Guess who we bump into? Hannity. Wow. Sean Hannity. Oh. You see, the thing about this dude is, at first he's fair, right? And you're like, wow. But then boom, dude's balanced, yes. too. And you're just like, holy shit. It's hard to describe. The building itself puts out this aura of energy and heat. It's, yeah. uh, it's like, oh, it radiates. I don't know. First time you guys ever saw Star Wars, right? You know that mm -hmm. feeling when you see the Death Star and you're like, don don don. That power and it just carries power. Just command. Fox News power. just the same What's thing. What's funny is it's not as serious as you think in there. Yeah. You know I mean, as soon yeah. as the camera goes off, these guys silly are, string fights. These guys are cutting it up. Yeah, three of them. Yeah, and then I got to see, I didn't even tell, I got to see Glenn Beck. What? Out in the parking what? lot. Come he was, on. He was getting in his car, and uh, I got to tell you, gorgeous. He is yeah. a gorgeous man. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, drop dead. He has a bodyguard. But he needs it. Yeah, he does. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. His tone is so gentle. He was talking to his bodyguard, and he was like, you know, get the door. But just the way he said it, yeah. you knew, you knew there was something underneath that that was. Yeah. He's got this salt and pepper hair to die for. It's just the right mix of salt and pepper, you know. Is he color is in? Uh, I don't know. That's the thing. You can't tell. Yeah. He works out, right, but not 
crazy buff workout, right? Chizzle. Yeah. You wouldn't think it, but when you get up close, you realize this guy puts in the hours. He yeah. puts in the hours. And his lips were so full. It was, I don't know, I'm getting crazy, but it was, they were so full, you know? How's you the know? nape of his neck? The nape? Yeah. Of his neck? Yeah, it's fine, I guess. Yeah, handsome. If you see him, don't stop yourself. Go up and just shake his hand. Okay. Yeah, That's all I'm going. I love, I love Glenn Beck! <laughs> uh, sorry, all right. Go back to work, guys. Oh. <laughs> oh my God, did they seem frightened by the explosion? Oh, that's awesome. And did you, did you get all the records out? Oh, Roger, you rock, you are so awesome. I am so thrilled. No, 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 just, just, just remember they're New York City cops, so you might, you know, keep it a little bit, keep it a little bit quiet. Don't hurt them, because we could end up in the, the headlines. Okay, all right, bye. <laughs> You're awesome. My ass. Looks like we got all the evidence we need. I'm sorry, my butterfly. Oh! I load him up, send him back to go. Oh. Whoa. What's going on? They strapped the door shut. Hey! Hey, hey, hey! Oh, shit! What? Hey! Took my walkie-talkie. Hey! Car won't start. You know what? Kick the window. I'll kick the windshield. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. They took my shoes again, man. What the hell is it with taking shoes? Hey, 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 hey. Make yourself comfortable now. I'm hyperventilating. I'm not messing around anymore. Come on. I feel so nauseous. Well, I'm about to shit, so. Oh, please don't. My shit smell will kill your crap in my car. Please I ain't got no choice, man. I've been car. holding it for an hour. What? Where are we? We're, we're in the high desert. They took my shoes again, man. What the hell is it with taking shoes? So they took your wooden gun? Yeah. I don't know, maybe even bigger with the afro. You was huge. Almost like uh, Diana Ross in The Wiz. Yeah. Cool afro. Yeah, and he had like flared nostrils and some mm -hmm. jewelry in his nose, like ivory or bone? I think it was bone. Yeah. Kind of big comes lips, out of the though. one nostril. Bigger. Yeah, don't hold back on the lips. They, they are substantial lips. Wonderful technique, Joshua. Yeah. So this is what the perp who abducted you looked like? That's him. <gasps> That's him. Joshua, that's that's him. That's spot on. Good job, man. Great work. We gotta get the mugshot book. We got this guy. Wow. You guys make me sick. What's to wrong? you, every black man is a criminal? This is it what every black person looks like to you? No, that's the guy that's who the strapped guy. us in the car. You both are racist. You, I knew. You, I'm surprised and disappointed. Me? Yes, you, me? I knew. What are you talking I was about? Waiting for the racist I pick to come you out first every time we play basketball. You pick me first? I don't. Because you're okay. good. No, 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 it's fine, guys. You're a hell of a ball player, ABB for Joshua? Oscar P. Lazy Coon right here. No. We've got a black president in the White House. You know what? I should strangle you to death, and I get away with it, because now I know what description you would Josh, use. That's him. You did a Joshua, great job. Joshua, no. Okay, what? Joshua. No, grow the hell up. Is this about something else, Joshua? So racist. Joshua, it's me, Alan. Joshua, I give to the United Negro College Fund every Christmas. Alan. Yeah. Come on, get the mugshot book. We got this guy. I have an investor lined up. Okay, that's uh, what I want to hear. Then I can pay you and everyone else back. Who else do you owe money to? That, that's pretty much it. Apart from 
are some Chechens, a Nigerian death squad, and, and some, uh, but, but not all, of the Taliban. You're funding the Taliban? Do I? Yeah. Yes, but not, you know, I mean, you should have heard their business ideas. Oh, my God. Um, they're very uh, entrepreneurial, the Taliban. You are a piece of work. So are you, Pamela. So are you. What are you doing? I, th I, th I thought this was affection. It was contempt. Okay, well, you should check out your, your, your signals, because those two, you know, contempt and affection, are very similar. My relationship with you is 1,000% business. What are you doing? I thought you'd think this guy's unstoppable. I would think, get me my money. Okay. Do you secretly like me? No. Okay. This is all the evidence we have, and I, I truly hope you take this seriously. I will take a look at this evidence, believe you me, but let me just assure you, fellas, David Urshon is an upstanding citizen. I am playing squash with him tonight at the club, and we're having dinner. Really? Yeah. And after dinner and squash, drive up to Vermont and have a civil union together, and then raise Byzantines? Oh, that's very funny. That's very good, officer. When you're walking on the beach, do Irish shadows, do you guys hold hands like you're in a Cialis hat? My relationship with David Urshon is strictly professional, and I have, yes, walked on a beach with him, but we certainly did not hold hands. Mr. Beeman, my partner here, misspoke. Okay, I think what he's trying to articulate is that you'll, you'll sit around and argue about what Netflix movies you want to choose. And he'll say, I love something fun, like Around the World in 80 Days. You'll say, no, I, what about uh, Kramer versus Kramer? I love drama. Well, I like drama, too. Don't look at me that way. I can look at you in any way I want. And it's on. And there's hair pulling. And there's over-the-top screaming in bitchy voices. And you cry, and you huddle up, and then you put on your favorite shawl, and you get a cup of decaf. You walk in that room and say, do you got a second? He says, of course I do. And you go down to one knee, and you say, I love you more than anything and he breaks down in your arms and says with uncontrollable sobs, it's hard to be a man. And then you'll give each other a handshake in the pants. Uh, oh, fellas, look, I, I don't know where you're getting your information here. Okay, I, okay, I, I, okay. Admit it, okay. yes, you guys dot each other's noses with an ice cream cone. One time we were on a camping trip at the River Kern and we shared a tent together and yes, we kept each other warm that night. He called me his little lamb. Did I appreciate the attention? Sure. But nothing happened. And that was it. That was it. Okay. That's better. Look, come here for a second. I gotta I got tell you something. You listen to me, you winds are not wearing monkey! You play squash with Urshan. Your kids go to school with his, and tonight when you're done, you guys are gonna bump joints in the steam room. How would you know if he's clean or not? <clears throat> Appreciate your passion, officer. And so, yes, I will take a look at this evidence. I will take a hard look at this evidence. I will go over the financials again, and I will get back to you. And Don Beeman is a man of his word. Believe you me. You do that, champ. You do that! Because I'm coming back, man! Now, I'm with you. This is unnecessary. I'm so tired of you getting angry and and yelling all the time. It's exhausting. I feel like I'm partners with the Hulk. You wanna know why I'm so angry all the time? Cause the more I try and do right, the more I screw things up. Come on, Terry. That's only true the times when it's true. When I was in ninth grade, I had this big art project, a block of wood, all kinds of carving tools. I carved a beautiful bird. I wanted it to be perfect. I looked at it and it wasn't. I mean, Mr. Moblowski, my art teacher, he thought it was perfect, but it wasn't perfect. I carved some more, still wasn't right. I just kept carving and carving and carving it. What kind of bird was it? It was a peacock, man. It was a peacock, okay? It'd be hard to carve. It had great talons, it had a rodent that had snapped from the ground that was taking it to its nest. And it's just the feathers are so hard, you know? It's like, sure. it just wasn't right. I kept carving and carving and carving. You know what I handed him? 
toothpick. You had it in a toothpick? My teacher gave me a C. I gotta say, a, a C is pretty generous considering you're handed in a toothpick. You know what? Screw you, Alan, okay? Look, you're being too hard on yourself, okay? You gotta let this go. What idea you have of whatever being perfect is, let it go. I gave up on trying to be perfect a long time ago, okay? I just want to be useful. We've got a possible jumper at Three World Financial Center, 23rd floor. All units, fire department en route. SEC, Beeman's office. We have to go. Francine. Terry, what are you doing here? Shh. I'm not here to make a scene. Let's just say I've been going through some changes, and I want you to know that I won't be badgering you anymore. Our split is completely amicable. You look... You look good in that tux. Where'd you get it? Well, thank you. It's evidence. From, a, a, like, a dead person? Hey, Francine. Hi. Is this guy bothering you? You win, Chief. You can have her. Enjoy making sweet, sweet love to her. But I swear to God, you make sure you pleasure her first before you pop. And you stay away from her, asshole. You hear me? And if you do this, if you sneak one in, none of that. Terry? Yes? This is my dad. Shh. Let's not try and hurt each other. Not now. I won't be seeing you anymore. This is a final goodbye. Sir? Miss? Terry, what? Uh. Terry, this place is amazing. How did you get here? Well, we've been investigating a scumbag pervert that's locked in the pantry. He's trying to steal the police pension fund. Tomorrow we're going to try to save him. Yeah. Some very dangerous people after him and other after us. That's really scary, Terry. I have to be honest, I, I wasn't going to come. But when you walked away and said that you'd never contact me again, I got a little sad. I wasn't sure you'd show up. And it reminded me of the Tennyson poem. There has fallen a splendid tear. Do you know it? No. From the passion flower at the gate, the red rose cries. She is near, she is near. And the white rose weeps. She is late. And the larkspur listens. I hear, I hear. And the lily whispers. I wait. Did you learn that to make fun of someone? No. I learned it to tell you I love you. Terry? Come here. Kobe Beef. Oh. Francine, is this guy bothering you? No. Oh, good. Thank you. To us, Terry. I gotta say, this is oddly sexy. You really put a lot of thought into this. I'm just, I'm just gonna wait for a little while. A lot of layers. You look good for an, an 80 year old woman. Every varicose vein. Oh, baby. Oh. Oh, I like what you're doing to me very much. Oh, I like it indeed. I can't hear you. Do you like what I'm doing to you? I do. I like it. Whoa! Oh! 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 
Excuse me. I need to check your permits. Where do you come from? The sky. I'm a country lawyer with a dream to serve my country. I'm John Wilkes Booth's wife. This is awkward. Oh. Ow! Ow! Oh! I'm... I'm an ophthalmologist. Ooh, parla italiano. Ah. Venezia. Buonasera. Well, hello. Hello. Abraham Lincoln. I'm Abraham Lincoln. I'm Captain Mike Abernathy. Captain Abernathy. Hook and Ladder Division. I'm here for freedom, and you have the freedom to do whatever okay. you want to me. Oh yeah. Oh. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Oh. Rise and shine. Morning. Yeah, not a bad night. Had some pretzels, Google porn. Good morning, sir. Morning, Demarco. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It was a great night. Who knows we're here? No one has this number. Just my parents. Oh, and uh, hundreds of bi curious people on Craigslist. No. I got it. Urshan residence. Well, hello, friend. Oh, hey, Wesley. Lindell Global pay you a nice bonus for killing Beeman. Well, as soon as the transaction goes through, mate, I'll no longer be under the employ of Lindell. So, I'm putting Mr. Urshon up to the highest bidder. I suggest you hand him over and walk away. Then you and that pretty wife of yours you're standing in the living room with can stay alive. Get out! I was watching us! <gasps> Wait, did you say living room? Yep. No. No, we're in the kitchen. Okay. I took a shot. I'm not watching you. But admit it. I freaked you out. He really freaked us out. He, he took a guess. He's not watching us. It's this simple. Hand Urshan over, and I will let you live. So enjoy your waffles, mate. It might be your last meal. No, eggs. We're having eggs. There's eggs in waffles. Think about it. He says if we don't turn in Urshan, he's going to kill us. You knew that these lunatics were after you, and you still brought us here? We thought this place was safe. Baby! Wait until we leave and then call the police. Until then, keep the doors locked. Honey, for years I've told you not to get hurt. Well, now, I want you to go hurt someone. I didn't mean to call you Sheila last night. That was an accident. OK, I thought we were never going to talk about that again. I'm sorry. Just don't die, okay, baby? Kiss me. Let's go. Bye, Sheila. Okay. Bye. Perp size were wild. And as for Alan and Terry, they learned that the police force is made up of different types. You got accountants, Patience hotheads, guys working second jobs, traffic cops. He went to make his move. I said, hey, look behind you! And I got him with the taser right in the face. Guys who Get talk to you when you don't want them to. And sometimes, there's just the other guys. Oh, that was entertaining. Thank you. And oh yeah. Alan. One other thing Alan got out of the deal. Would you like to share? He got stories. It was an ugly night. Misting. Chilly, when I came across illegal scaffolding permits in the city records. This is a good one. Hey, shut up. Let him speak. It was a file I didn't notice at first. Uh, I found 14 different violations over a three-month period, which totaled to an amount of close to $1,700 violations. $1,700 that the city wasn't getting. I, I was livid.